All right, good Sunday afternoon, about 2.30. Just hit 100% state of charge on all six of these EG4 Life Power 4 batteries, no faults. But I want to show you something on their BMS test version 2.6. What's going on here? And 100% all the way across. And you see these cell over voltage alarms? These go away. These go away. And you have one that says protection right there. That one's a little bit high. See the voltage 54.33? So that's just a little bit high. That's the bottom battery, which is no big deal. And let me show you how I got these suckers set up. That's the parameters I got set in. Absorb 57 for five minutes. The way you set the time, you go over here to charge time. Five minutes. Bada bing. On all three of them. You have to do all three of them, <clears throat> even in follow me mode. But all three of them, as you can see, green light, green light, green light, float. So everything is good to go. Floating power. And if you're saying, oh, that's too damn high, well, it actually, it's well within specs of these EG4 Light Power 4 batteries setting and absorb 57 volts. Way below, like a volt and a half low. <clears throat> and when I was watching these things come up, you know, the total voltage right here, let me get it a little bit closer, and none of them got up, <clears throat> the, the one that was the closest to 57 was 56.8 on the individual voltage. Most of them were like 56.3, 56.4, so they didn't even get close to 57 volts. And like I said, these will all go away. Now during drain down overnight, the SOC drift, you know, they're all saying 100 right now, is about 4%. And then when I recharge them back up, it's it's 100. And then they all just do it again, Sam. In cycles, you can see 54, 52, 51, and what are these rated for? 7,000 cycles? <laughs> It'll outlive me if, at that rate. And I'm not even cycling them all the way down, maybe 45 to 50% state of charge and I don't think that even counts as a cycle I don't know how they do their cycle calculations but uh, yeah good to go yeah no problems I'm only inverting 3,500 watts off this Outback which is great when you have I have 9,000 watts of solar panels coming in to this system right and I get like 7,500 watts coming in charges up these 30 kilowatt hours of batteries and then you do the math, even at max power with 35, that, that's what, eight hours at full power. So, <laughs> kind of, I could go bigger with a bigger inverter, but, you know, or even 240 split phase, put two of these together. But uh, right now, working like a freaking champ, especially this time of the year, right around summer solstice. Working stupid good. All right, there you have it. So, these guys are good. Everything is good. No alarms. Four bars on all of them. As you can see. Working good. Just like a refrigerator, stove, microwave, dishwasher. That's what I want it to do. No drama. Alright, have a good Sunday. See you.